So this might be a little odd since all my videos are pretty much about firearms, but I'm gonna try something new here and play devil's advocate for a bit. If you live in the US, you know that 2019 has not been good to us. There have been a ridiculous number of mass shootings within this year that have killed many people. My sincere condolences goes out to the victims of these hateful crimes. It's very unfortunate to be in a situation where you're at the wrong place at the wrong time. And though the odds of that happening are slim to none, we have to remind ourselves that we live in a world where things can go from zero to 100 in a blink of an eye. I find it really sad that it has to come to this point where horrible life-changing situations like this become normal on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're watching this video, you're either one, interested in what plate carrier I'm using, and clicking on this video may help lead you in the right direction into finding the right plate carrier, or two, you're sick and tired of the BS that's been going on, so maybe wearing a micro plate carrier equipped with level three body armor just might be the solution for another safe route that may reduce yourself from becoming an open defenseless target. But before we get into this in-depth video, I would like to take the time out and thank each and every one of my subscribers. You guys are the reason why I do this. Being able to communicate, bringing value to one another is the best positive energy I could ever ask for. These last couple of weeks have been a little rough, which is why I haven't been creating content lately but I appreciate you guys for sticking around and I'm back to the regular schedule of weekly content. I kind of built a family with you guys in the comments section. So for my new subscribers, if you ever have any questions about any of my content, feel free to drop a comment or you can hit me on Instagram as well. If you haven't heard of AR500 by now, well, allow me to reestablish the foundation to all body armor platforms. The first time I heard about AR500 body armor was from a guy by the name of James Jager from Tactical Response. If you haven't heard of this guy, I demand you pause this video and go check his channel out. And believe it or not, he's actually the guy who inspired me to create this channel, so I guess you can say I'm paying homage in a way. If interested, I'll also have his channel linked down in the description below. Obviously, if you're not sure what body armor I'm wearing by now, like I stated before, this is the Micro Slick style version with 8x10 level 3 front and back chest plates. Starting with the play carrier, I bought both as a bundle for around $245 and I found that to be the average in the play carrier market. I went micro because I'm a big fan of comfort and mobility when it comes to any type of outerwear on my person. This does exclude the tight jeans I wear, so please give me a break in the comment section. The good thing about the micro's unique size is that it covers just enough real estate for protecting most of your main vital organs, while also giving you the freedom to move comfortably. On the front side, you have the standard molly webbing that you'll probably see on most AR500 plate carriers. Here is where you can add any accessories that you may find important to you. I've added three individual AR mag pouches from Condor since I run the Mark 18 often. I'll have the link for the mag pouches in the description below. The installation is simple, using both straps, either web in and out of the molly or straight through. Both work, so user preference is key. There is a Velcro section located above the molly webbing and also on the back side. For size adjustments, simply adjust the buckles located on the side or below the padded straps along the shoulders. When purchasing the plates, there are several options to choose from. I went with the level 3 flat base with the buildup coat which prevents fragmentation mitigation. To dumb it down a bit, yeah, just buy the buildup coat and you'll thank me later. The shooter's cut allows more real estate for your dominant side when bracing the firearm in a ready position. See what I did there? When installing the plates, make sure the side that specifically says body side needs to be facing the body. The same goes for the back side of the plate carrier. For proper fitting, it's very important that the top part of the plate carrier lines up about a finger below the collarbone for maximum benefits. So now that you've gotten a full breakdown of the micro slick style plate carrier setup, hopefully you found some of the information helpful and maybe benefit off this in the future. But Aaron, what about the devil's advocate thingy? Well, this is the part where I switch to the dark side and explain to you, regardless if you're pro second amendment or not, as to why you need body armor period. And honestly, it's a pretty simple answer. How much more madness does this world need to go through in order for you to realize that things aren't going to be okay? Whether it be today, tomorrow, or even a month from now. I'm not saying it's impossible that there can be some progress in years to come, but with the way things have been lately, it doesn't look like it'll slow down anytime soon. If there's any value you can gain from this video, I want you to remember this. The only thing you can control is how to react to the things out of your control. Just think about that for a second. There's about 8 billion people in this world. Put the word control in the same sentence and how do you think the outcome will turn out? If you guessed a recipe for disaster, well, congratulations. You've officially defined the world we live in. Putting yourself in a position to prepare for worst case scenarios is a start. And maybe a plate carrier with level three body armor just might be the trick. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. To watch more content like this in the future, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.